I'm T. Aishwarya. I'm going to tell you how to derive equation for projectile motion. So before going into this, we have to know what is projectile at first. So what is projectile? Any particle moving in a direction making an angle theta with the horizontal under the action of gravity of the earth is known as projectile. It can be also called projectile. So now let us come uh, to know the equation. Equation is nothing but the trajectory. What is trajectory? It is the path traveled by the projectile. Now let me start. Uh, let us now consider a particle. The particle can be anything either A, B or C. I consider a particle A. A is nothing but a particle. Now A is a particle which is projected with velocity u. Velocity is actually u. That is this arrow mark actually represents vector. So the velocity is actually u vector. Uh, and it makes an angle theta. It makes an angle theta uh, with respect to the horizontal. This is z, okay? With respect to the horizontal. Now let us start deriving. We know that v is actually velocity. So let us resolve the velocity into its corresponding components. That is u vector cos theta along x axis and u vector sin theta along the y axis. x axis is nothing but along the horizontal. And this is nothing but the vertical distance. This x-axis actually shows the distance traveled by particle A uh, horizontally and vertical distance is nothing but dis, uh, the particle A traveling vertically. So now the graph is like this. It is a very simple thing, okay? This is y-axis. This is x-axis. Here the object A or the particle is actually thrown and this is theta this is the origin the particle a this is the particle a and now here this is the vector right which is nothing but u vector this is the maximum height traveled by a and now at this point, velocity is 0. At the highest point, particle A will have the velocity 0. Now, uh, let the particle A travel x distance in t seconds. x distance in t seconds. So, we'll know that vector u is equal to x by t. In order to uh, find the value for x, we actually multiply vector uh, u and t. Now we already know since this is the x, uh, the particle moving uh, horizontally, this will be u cos theta and this will be u sin theta. In the, pl in the place of u vector, Along the x-axis, we can substitute this, okay? So, now x equal to u cos theta into t. For time, we have t equal to x by u cos theta. This is equation number 1. Now, let us find, uh, let y be the distance, okay? Let y be the distance traveled by the object a vertically so vertically traveled distance okay this is short form vertically traveled distance by a is actually y now we'll use a formula here that is s equal to ut plus half a t square in this uh, formula we are going to substitute t that is this is number two substitute equation number 1 in 2. Here we will find s is nothing but y. Why? 
is the vertical distance traveled by a so instead of yes we'll have y and u we already know it is nothing but u sin theta you know why we are having u sin theta here instead of cos theta because this is the vertical distance taking the vertical distance we have u sin theta and instead of t we'll have x by cos theta that is u cos theta and plus half into minus g you know why we are going with minus g because the gravitation uh, will actually be in negative uh, the gravitational force is negative because the object a is traveling upward when it is projected upward uh, the gravitational uh, force or the acceleration due to gravity is taken as negative and now instead of t we will uh, substitute x by u cos theta and one thing we have to understand here is uh, this is a very important point that I have left before so that is the u cos theta remains constant because it is not affected by gravitational force this u cos theta actually remains constant because no gravitational force is acting on this part uh, that's what I wanted to say and here now let us derive uh, the equation u u actually gets cancelled so it becomes sin theta by cos theta x and this becomes minus because minus plus it becomes minus so half into uh, g this is the whole square right yeah we have square t square now g into x square by u square cos square theta here we know that sine by cos can be written as tan theta minus 1 that is 1 into g x square is nothing but g x square and 2 is nothing but 2 into u square into cos square theta now this is nothing but it is in the form of the equation parabola the above equation of the form is of the form uh, y equal to a x plus b x square where a is actually tan theta and b is nothing but minus g x square by 2 u square cos 2 u square cos square theta therefore uh, we can uh, finally derive that any object that is traveling uh, or when it is a projectile uh, the trajectory is parabola that's it this is the equation thank you for watching please like